Make sure we grab this metal over here. A bunch of stuff that'll eventually be traded up into blue Digizoid. Maybe not actually, because copper and iron is so low tier. Oh, there's a bathroom right here. Use that real fast. Crick in my shoulder. I've been sitting the same way for too long. Yeah. That's a bit better. Alright. Dynasmon. Tomorrow, if you don't start dying naturally, I'm gonna start hitting you up with some devil chips, brother. Because we do need you to start rebirthing soon. Quack. <laughs> Are there any Digimon left in Faulty X Machina we need to recruit other than other than the whatchamacallit? Whatever it is I'm thinking of. The, uh, that did way less than I thought it would. Other than the, uh, there we go. The Metal Garurumon? I think it's just the Metal Garurumon now, right? I feel like it is. There might be something else that spawned here since we got into the post game. Yo, four chrome Digizoid. What are the demon chips? Demon chips uh, raise a Digimon stat by like 100. So they're like really good stat boosts and you can buy them for fairly cheap from one of the Digimon at town. I don't remember which one. But uh, it lowers your Digimon's life. So it'll die faster. So if Dynasmon, because I've given him too many life boosting items, isn't gonna die as soon as we need him to, we will uh, we will use demon chips to give him some stats and also lower his life. Because we don't want uh, we don't want there to be too big of a gap between Galmon's between Galmon and then the new rebirth. We want them to be fairly close so that they're both mega for most of the time together. This is Galmon's second day, isn't it? I think we checked that a second ago. This is Galmon's second day. Ideally, we want Galmon's third day to be the day that Dynasmon dies. So, tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna get Lady Devilmon. This thing is level 38. Holy cow. He has the ultimate fire move! Oh my word, that does so much! Now's your chance. Like, way more than I expected. Go. Okay, it's only the Inferno move that does a lot. Oh, get the stun. Get in there, both of you. Beat him up. There we go. There we go. Get him, boys. Oh, he's still stunned? Don't hit him if he's still stunned. Or don't use the ult if he's still stunned, is what I meant to say. All right, now hit him with the ult. Please give me Inferno. Yeah, we can transfer life, but I bet Dynasmon is already too low on it. It's, we're like, it's gonna be fun. We'll just use demon chips tomorrow. AD Tamer experience, very nice. A lot of bits as well, very helpful. Metal Garurumon, I will deal with you at a later date, buddy. Once we get back to other Megas, might have to EXE against him. I think we had to EXE. Oh, these guys are silver tagged. That's cute. Let's go. Oh, man. These guys are not going to die nearly as fast as the... Uh, Nearly as fast as the Seedramon did. Oh, did your guard run out right when you got hit? I wasn't paying attention. Wow, that didn't even, like, knock you down. Okay. Yeah, it still does a lot to Dynasmon. Huh. I wonder if it might be better to go somewhere other than this. <laughs> to get stat gains. Guard. 
because this uh, these guys are actually still pretty annoying. Although I don't know where else we could go, to be fair. Oh my goodness. Oh my word, come on, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be like, this is gonna feel 10 times more tedious than the Seedramon just because it's so annoying. With like the status effects this dude can do. And he's still strong enough to knock Dynasmon down. Does anyone in chat know, is there a better place to go to get like higher stats instead of fighting these guys? That didn't kill, huh? There we go. I mean, it definitely gives the stat gains, but it's gonna get like, it's gonna get really tedious. It's gonna take a really long time to fight these guys over and over. There's gotta be somewhere that's better than, better than fighting these. Ooh, Ooh that was really good, good. I was literally just about to say, I wonder if the blue Greymon might be a better option in Boney Resort. I'm gonna beat these two because I'm here. But I think we might wanna go try Boney Resort instead. And see if the blue Greymon do better. Because there's that one blue Greymon like right in front of the celeb house that you can just like respawn really, really fast. Because, like, this training method works, don't get me wrong. But, uh, oh, my Galmon died again because I wasn't paying attention. But, like, these things take so long to die, it's gonna, like, it's gonna make it feel like it takes forever. Good hit, good hit. Like, this takes so much longer compared to the, uh, the Seedramon, my goodness. I mean, I didn't expect to, like, insta-kill these guys like we were with the Seedramon, but I also definitely didn't expect it to, like, be a full-on fight, basically. If I don't use this, you're gonna get injured, and that's gonna be annoying to me. Bark, bark. Uh, you have, like, no points to use. Please kill him. Please, Dinosmon, kill him. See you later, Rob. Thanks for coming to stream, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Can you please, like, just, just kill it? Just kill it. Thank you. My goodness. They do give 80 tamer experience in 1300 bit, which is also insanely good. It's almost 100 tamer experience per fight. See you later, Unlucky. Thanks for coming to stream as well. Let's go. All right. Bad. Come on, get back up. Oh, Dinosmon guarded there. I was about to say, this stupid thing's, uh, Galmon's gonna get hit because it's gonna hit right when his thing runs out. Did you really get stunned? Like, come on, man. Cut me a little bit of slack here. That is, in fact, how you do it. This is how we do it? No, 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 no. Inferno! As soon as you're unstunned, I'm wyvern breathing you to oblivion. Don't make me double backhand you. Will there be more Project Winter videos coming? Uh, I wouldn't count on it. Project Winter is really fun, don't get me wrong, but we just, uh, I haven't played it any. And I don't think we will be again, like, in the near future. Anytime we can all get together, we'd rather play Toontown. This war, Graumon. This one is slightly weaker. Does it still give like the same stats and all? Hold up. 
Maybe, maybe this is the answer that I need. He's still taking quite a beat. But I mean, Project Winter is something we may go back to in the future, for sure. Because it is fun. We all own it. We all like it, as far as I know. The only problem is, is Shroom's computer can't really handle it that well. So anytime we play, Shroom's computer is maybe good for like two games, if that. And then it stops working, which is really annoying for him and for us as well. But especially for him. This is still taking quite a while to kill. Even two ults don't kill it, my goodness. Easy guard. It does still give all the stat gains. I think I wanna try, I wanna loot all the materials around here for both materials and experience. But I think I want to try to go to Boney Resort instead and see how it works. If the blue Greymon will still give Galmon max stat gain. Up near the pink stone house and all. That was great. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme all your materials. Thank you. Where are all the spots here? Two to the left, three down there. Alright. We will hit up every last one of them before we go. Five chrome Digizoit is pretty good. Can turn it into black Digizoit. Can turn black into red. At this point, I feel like we're mostly just trying to get like the two... Ah, oh, dang it. When it comes to the metal, at least, it feels like we mostly just want to get like the two highest materials. I was just typing about this guy maybe being slightly easier to kill, but yeah, Wizardmon and Pinkstone House, Boney Resort, and Mega Kabuterimon and Rosemon's room, and the Wastelands also give good stat gains. They will probably be far less bulky than the War Growlmon. Yeah, let's try and go to. I think we're gonna try and go to Boney Resort and see what we can make happen there. Just because you know, fighting these War Growlmon is gonna. It's just gonna drag for so long. I would really rather find something that goes down a little bit quicker. We really only need to get Galmon up to like around 4k in stats. If we can get him like 3500 is like the minimum. He needs to get to 3500 in stats before Digivolving, without a doubt. But 4K is kind of like the gold standard, I feel like. If we get him to 4K, then by the time he gets to Mega, we will, with uh, uh, stat boosting food, we will have him over... Yeah, I'm going to fight this one more time. We will have him over... Uh... Hey! You're okay. Words. We'll have him over 5K when he gets to Mega. Na, 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 na. Keep your eyes open. That was way too early, Chaos. What are you doing? Go for it. Tell you, do it. Ow, my Dynasmon and his feelings. Nice nice one. Nailed it. Nice we one. have an ult. He might die. This one does. Okay. We're gonna go try Boney Resort, but if Boney Resort, like, doesn't have a good viable spot, I think fighting this level 35 War Growlmon wouldn't be the worst. So that's what we will try and do instead. Get him with the double backhand. End his very soul, Galmon. Kill him! Murder! Oh my word, he got knocked back from that. Amazing. You love to see it. 1650 bit and 80 tamer experience is very nice. Alright, Galmon's about at 3k and everything. Let's go back to town. You guys get hungry at noon, right? You can take this opportunity to use some restaurant dishes. Yeah. 
Dinos one, do you not are you not happy? Oh no, you're you're all like max happiness. I don't know why you have those little markers down there. Now oh, whatever. Oh no wait, no, your bond is good, but your happiness is probably Oh yeah, your happiness is very low for some reason. I would like to sell that and this and this. This is worth fifteen hundred, holy cow. Very nice. Sell all those bad boys. Alright, alright, not bad. Doing alright on money. We need to try to conserve a little bit of money. We're getting a little too low to just throw dishes. Who's... Wednesday, you're a half price. Alright, what do you have that gives, like, any amount of stat ups? Like, anything good? These are all fairly low. Not very good stat gains. Let me talk to you. We should probably just go straight Seraphimon. Seraphimon's stuff is so expensive, though. This is pretty... This is only 8k, and it's plus 25 to every stat. 250 HP and MP. Yeah. Do this. Galmon is immediately full. Dynasmon, I'm looking for you to die tomorrow, so I am just gonna give you... a meat to fill you up. There you go. Whoops. Didn't mean to walk in here. I've already talked to all of you, I'm pretty sure. I know what you all sell. Bum, 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 bum. Galmon, look, it's your father. Alright, take me to normal bony resort, not hinterland. Although, if we go to hinterland, we could get, uh... Maybe some digi diamonds and stuff. You know what? I talked myself into it. Go to Bony Resort Hinterland. I want to see if we can get a digi diamond here. We only need a few more to max out the item shop. Come on, three digi diamonds. Wonderful. One digi diamond. I can't really be upset at that. We take what we can get. Oh, Dynasmon, are you dying? Oh, he's dying. trying to do the math in my head. As long as Dynasmon lives through the rest of this day, him dying is fine. The only problem is, is that when he dies, we'll no longer be able to, like, get Galmon's stat gains the, the good way. We'll then have to switch to, uh, just, like, using the training camp. I mean, there's not really anything I can do about it unless I wanted to use a Rotting Melon, and I really don't. I mean, what are- Galmon's stats are already at, like- Yeah, they're already at 3,000. It's so, like, it's not bad. And we have the stat-boosting dishes. Bring it on. Just kind of going through the logistics in my head. Go away. Oh, there's another Sukaimon back there. What the heck? Alright, that doesn't do much damage. That's fun. That still does a lot of damage. Hey, Donismon, kill him, please. Thank you. I gave good stat games, pretty much. Hopefully, the Wizardmon and all up near the Pink Stone House are going to give us good stat gains. As long as Dynasmon lives through today is the only thing. I just need him to live through today. What do you give stat-wise? As long as he lives through today, we should be good to go. Ooh, I got that guard literally right on time. Alright, the Greymon, this one at least, does not take too long to kill. Zap. Elephant noise. Oh, that's unfortunate. He only gives 26 to strength, stamina, and HP. That's not gonna work then. The War Growlmon might be our only option. 
which is annoying. Decisions, decisions. You really want to do this? You really, all right, you really want to do this. Get absolutely thunderstormed on. You're about to witness three in a row. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy being deaded. Please, please do the thing and kill them all. That one's really going to live? You're kidding me. There we go. Got him. That's plus 26 and everything but speed and HP and MP. I wonder if Dynasmon will get hungry again before rebirthing. And maybe we can, uh... Maybe we can get him one more thing of life-boosting rainbow drink or whatever. That's not what I meant to do. And if that could just make him last a little bit into the next day to where we can get Galmon's stats a bit higher. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we can probably still just make this work out A-OK. -okay. By using the... There's that one Serapimon dish that I think wasn't too expensive. That, uh... That gives him, uh... That gives the Digimon, like, plus 50 in every stat. Like, we can get Galmon up pretty high while he's a champion. I'm just not sure. Right there. Once they get to Mega and EX, once they get to Mega and Ultimate, we'll be doing a lot of EXing against high-level Digimon as well. That will probably give stats. That's not a whole lot. I know, Dynaspawn. I know. Life's hard. Get over it. Decisions, decisions. We really don't want to backslide on stats. Craniumon and Dynasmon got up to a like right over 5k. So Galmon, Galmon needs to be at 5k once he becomes Lilithmon. Otherwise, it's like that's basically a failure. Although even then, if we just get Galmon to like around, like at least close to 5k, like probably still with Seraphimon dishes giving us constant boosts as long as we can still afford it consistently, then we should be able to like make good gains going forward. 